hair pieces or, or uh, hair bands, Alice bands. They're really quick, they're really easy. And all you need is some homemade t-shirt yarn. Look up here and down below how to make your own t-shirt yarn. It's really quick and really easy and a great way to recycle old t-shirts. So come on then, let's take a look and see how they're made. So all you will need is, is some t-shirt yarn. You can have it all in one color or you can use three different colors. Um, now if you want, you can also use an elastic band for the way this one has been closed off. We'll talk about that at the end. And also if you want, you can add things like beads to your um, braiding as you go along, but it's up to you. And um, you know, everyone's got different taste. So really, really easy. You take your t-shirt yarn, your three strips, as I've got here, it's three different colors. You tie a knot. I'm going to make it a bit longer for now because um, then we can work on it later. If you want to add this elastic now, you can. Or I'm just going to do a knotted version uh, so that you can see that you can do it with anything really. And then you take a bit of tape. I've got it here, marker tape. Tape it down and start braiding. So I don't know if you've braided before. If you haven't, um, I'll quickly run you through it and then we'll speed it up. And this is such a quick craft. Um, you know how to and then you know how to do the uh, the bands so um, three strands and it's really easy to braid it's good to have a bit of tension here because that makes it you can pull and you go basically from left sorry right over the middle one and then you take the left and put it over the middle keep that one in the middle and now you go to the right again I'm sure most of you know how to braid but if you don't this is a really nice basic craft to learn over the middle and basically you keep swapping sides. Now I'm going to just speed this up and um, get to the length I want. Okay, so I've got a piece as long as I want it to have, so as long as I, I need it. You can measure it around your own head or around your friend's head. Um, and like I say, you can either um, knot a piece of elastic, just an ordinary elastic on, and that would give it extra stretchiness. But also because t-shirt yarn is stretchy, it can work just like this. So what you then do is, so you're holding this tight, you unknot this end. I'm just gonna quickly make it a bit longer. So you've got the two ends unknotted, you bring it together and you tie one big knot at the very end. So this is a great way of doing it if you don't have your own elastic and then you make sure the knot comes right to the end, not where you've braided it, and then you just tighten it. Make sure it's secure, oopsie, <laughs> tighten it, cut off any excess, and that is how easy it is to use t-shirt yarn to braid your own hairpiece. Aren't they lovely? They're so cute. So obviously this one's a bit thinner because that's how I made my own t-shirt yarn. But if you want wider t-shirt yarn, um, when you look at the instructions up here, you just have to cut it a bit wider. Um, just to, to recap, this is my son's old sports t-shirt. Um, this is one of my husband's old t-shirts and this is a free t-shirt I got from um, you know, one of those companies that they send out. So it's a really great thrifty project um, and uh, they look really, really lovely. Now if you like this and you want to see more um, patterns to put into your hair, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, keep watching and keep making. Take care, bye!